everyone so today's video is going to be a highly requested one and it's going to be on how to bond multiple rabbits so i've had a lot of good success in bonding rabbits i currently have four rabbits living together so these are just techniques that i have used they may or may not work for you so just be patient and do not rush the rabbits as this could slow down the bonding process so i can't stress enough how, po how important it is to be patient Bonding is a stressful time for all the rabbits involved and yourself. So if you rush the rabbits, it's going to slow down this process and it will ruin your chances of having a successful bond. This process can take weeks, even months. I know my rabbit bonding session took over a year to successfully bond my male with my two. So if you're a first time rabbit owner and you're thinking about getting multiple rabbits from different places and you're looking on how to bond them, I'd highly advise going to your local rescue as these generally have lots of rabbits looking for homes. Most of these are already bonded pairs or bonded groups and this will save you a lot of time. So let's start off with a checklist on what you will need when bonding rabbits. So the first and most important thing you will need are rabbits. It depends whether you're having male or females but all rabbits involved will need to be spayed and neutered. Not only is this important for health reasons, but it will also help with bonding as it reduces the rabbits being territorial. So once you've got your rabbits, you're ready to set them up in a neutral space. A neutral space could be anywhere where the ha rabbits haven't been. So a bathtub, a puppy pen set up in a room of your house, could be a run set up somewhere in the garden the rabbits have never been, could be a dog crate that they've never been in. Now you've sorted out your neutral space, it's important to get together some things which will help you in the bonding process. If your rabbits break into a fight, it's important to have equipment such as a dustpan, a towel and thick gloves which will help you separate the rabbit. Some items such as food, hay, treats and water are useful when trying to distract the rabbits from eating. And it's always important to have someone on site to help you carry the rabbits up to the neutral space and to help you separate any fights that may occur. Once the rabbits are spayed or neutered and have fully recovered, you can start the initial but first greeting. Take both rabbits to the neutral space in separate carriers. You may need assistance to help you carry the rabbits. Put both rabbits into the neutral space and allow them to see each other. For this step, I am using the bathtub method as I find this is a much easier one. So when you first place the rabbits in the bathtub, don't allow them to run around with each other. Keep the rabbits' positions mobile and place them next to each other. Keep them next to each other by stroking them and making them feel comforted. You should, allow, you should do this process for 10 minutes. Do not, under any circumstance, allow the rabbits to start running around. Make sure that they are kept close to each other so they are aware of each other's company and smells. After the 10 minutes, remove both rabbits from the neutral space and place them back into their hutch. This process should be repeated over a 10 minute period and no more than two times per day. You don't want to start stressing your rabbit out by doing this a lot. So the rabbits are going to be scared. So some things you may see, the rabbits stomping, the rabbits increased heart rate and the rabbits may start trying to nip at each other. This is all fine, just keep the rabbits still and keep petting them as I demonstrate in the video. This step should be carried out over two to three days, minimum. Don't rush into the second step until you are sure that the rabbits are used to each other's smell. Step two. After carrying out the previous stage for two to three days, you can place both rabbits back into a neutral space and allow them to do as they wish. Have your towel and dustpan at the ready to separate any fights that may occur. So some normal behaviours that you may see include stomping, humping, nipping at each other's bums, pulling out the other rabbit's fur, putting their heads together, or the rabbits may show no interest in each other at all. These are all normal, expected behaviours and you should not separate the rabbits. Separating the rabbits will only slow down the process as this will stress the rabbits out and this is all they will know. Again, this stage should be carried out over a 10 minute period, no more than two times per day. Do not separate the rabbits under any circumstance unless they draw blood from each other or turn into a huge 
fights where they are rolling around on each other. So to separate the rabbits, if this does occur, you need to use a dustpan brush to divide the rabbits apart and there, or you can cover them with a towel as this will quickly calm them down and then you need to quickly remove the rabbit. So then you need to go back to step one. Once the rabbits start showing no signs of aggression towards one another, you can progress onto stage three. Some good behaviours include the rabbits grooming each other, laying down next to each other, grooming themselves while the other rabbit is close by. You should not progress onto this stage unless the rabbits can tolerate each other's company. You need to begin now to move the rabbits to a larger space. Once again, this needs to be a neutral territory as this can provoke unnecessary fights. I suggest using a rabbit run place place on an area where the rabbits have not been. Place both rabbits into the space and allow them to explore. At this stage do not give them any tunnels or places to hide as this could provoke arguments between the rabbits. Keep a close eye on both of the rabbits and if you expect them to break into huge fights Try and resolve this situation by quickly offering them treats, food, hay, just to take their minds away from the other rabbits. Some good signs include the rabbits putting their heads together, humping is still a good sign at this stage, grooming each other is again a really good sign at this stage, or completely ignoring each other. As boring as this is, this is a really good indication that the bonding process is going well. This process needs to be carried out until you are sure that the rabbits are not going to break into any major fights. The rabbits should at this stage, by the end of this stage, be happy around each other's company and should not be having spurts of fighting or aggression. This stage can be carried out over a much longer period of time. I suggest starting off with 10 minutes and then over the period of a week or two weeks or three weeks increase that by up to 30 minutes and then up to an hour and then do it as long as you wish. Providing that the rabbits are not fighting with each other you could progress on to do this stage for a whole day considering that you are there all day to watch the rabbits and you must not leave them at any point during this day. Stage 3 must be carried out for a minimum of a week. You must be able to trust the rabbits 100% before proceeding on to step 4. Stage 4. Clean the accommodation that you intend the rabbits to live in with a pet safe disinfectant if it has been used by one of the rabbits before. Place the rabbits into it and allow them to spend the whole day together. If the rabbits start fighting, go back to the previous steps. If the rabbits get along with each other all day without any, if not very few, arguments, then you must not separate them at this stage, as this will lead them to be very confused and in the morning when you put them back together, they will start fighting again. So you must set up a pen in your bedroom next to your bed where you can monitor the rabbits overnight. If all is well in the morning, you can officially say that your rabbits have been bonded and you can move them into their new accommodation. You must, however, keep a close eye on the rabbits over the next day. It is important to be aware that the minimum size hutch for two bonded rabbits is 6 foot by 2 foot hutch with an 8 foot by 4 foot run attached. If you cannot provide this, then maybe consider a different pet. So that's it from us today guys. I hope this video has come in useful to some of you. I know a lot of you have requested it. So if this stage has worked for you and you've bonded your rabbits then make sure you let me know and if it hasn't worked for you i do apologize however i do have a description full of links to useful websites and other youtube videos that may help you so good luck bonding your rabbits guys and we'll see you again shortly bye